The General Administration of Customs kicked off a large-scale anti-drug campaign in South China's city of Guangzhou on Monday. This particular operation is unique for the large number of drug dogs it involves. Forty of the animals have been brought to Guangzhou to help sniff out drug traffickers. The dogs have been undergoing intensive training in South China's Guangdong province since late May. The Entian Drug Dog Center is one of three training centers in China that are used to train the dogs. We evaluate the dogs' performance during their training, as well as get them into better shape. Some of them are from North China and are still getting used to the hot weather in Guangzhou. This season's weather is going to be a big challenge. The dogs will be used to track down drugs being smuggled via luggage, parcels, and freight transport. They will therefore be most active at airports, freight yards, and other transportation and shipping facilities. The dogs can be used to detect drugs much more quickly than through other methods, such as X-ray machines. All of the luggage on a single wide-body plane can be checked within half an hour. The dogs are mainly Labradors and Golden Retrievers. These breeds are chosen because they have a gentle temperament that ensures that they won't attack passengers or destroy parcels. The dogs' trainers use games like tug of war to teach the dogs what drugs smell like, as well as strengthen their bond with the trainers. Playing games is a crucial part of training. Some people think we just order the dogs around and give them a reward after vote, but it's more complicated than that. You have to play with them, get them excited, and let them smell the drugs. They are more eager to work this way. Only one out of every 40 dogs can successfully complete the training and become a drug dog.